Hello everybody, welcome to Persona 4 Golden. I have not played this game, I have just heard about how good it is. That's, uh, basically it. Oh, what happened? Okay, well... Mm. For those who are less than confident in their sk Okay. The battles are easier than normal mode, so don't get too worked up. Okay. I'm gonna go for... Call me a pussy, which, uh... Mm. I know for a fact I cannot handle easy. Or normal. Characters, art, and storylines depicted in this game are purely the work of fiction. Any similar? Well, I didn't finish reading that. It's an anime! That man is heckin' weird. Welcome to the Velvet Room. That's a terrifying ass voice for someone so old looking. He has such a bald head. Look at that bald ass head. Ah. Oh. It seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Look at look at him. He's balding. That's a train. I like trains. Yaso Inaba. Yaso Inaba. Yeah, we heard you the first time. Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. Ouch. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. Let's see, I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. Uh, it's been a long time. I'll say, you've really grown. I still remember when you were in diapers. Okay, that's too weird. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. <laughs> me too. You know what? Me, me, me too. What are you so shy for? Yeah. Ow! <laughs> Her mouth is, uh, open to speak dots. Okay. My car's over there. Yeah, I would assume. I would assume your car is somewhere here. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. This is foreshadowing. Nanako is looking at you, alright? Why is she looking at me? I'm... I feel uncomfortable. Are you okay? That looked fucking very uncomfortable and very unnatural. You saw the way she walked right then, right? Now that you mentioned it, you do feel a little dizzy. Oh god, everything's swirly! Oh, fuck yeah! Alright, let's have a toast. No. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? That's rough being a kid. Yeah, welcome to reality, dipshit. What did you do with the laundry? I already brought it in. All right. Well, I'm off. Child, you seem to have... You have too much My dad's a detective. Fuck yeah. We're gonna have a side plot of a detective. This is Furia is covered in a black in a black fog. No thick. All you can do right now is proceed forward. Oh, oh no! I'm scared. I don't. I don't like this. Do you seek the truth? Mm, I don't like this. I really. Why the hell do I have a katana? You saw that, right? I'm not insane, am I? So, you are the one pursuing me. <laughs> Try all you like. Yeah, I'm not insane. Why the fuck do I have a katana and where the hell did I get it? Do you do the cooking? Hold on. Surely not, right? Oh, ah! did look painful. You shouldn't even be. What kind of student life awaits you here? Nothing. I have no future here. This is just, uh, a diversion for the actual plot. <gasps> hey, it's been I'm a while. Good so morning. Yeah, it turns I out that I'm studying at IR. Ah, uh, talk about <laughs> bad luck. The homeroom teacher here is Moraoka, isn't it? Who the- you can tell. You can see the guy in the corner of the screen. Just in like the middle of the screen, just sitting there. 
with his head hang, hanged low, hung low, and he's just not happy to be there. You can tell that these girls are important because they have different uniforms. Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, we're gonna defend ourselves. Fuck you. Fuck you, Mr. Morooka. Or Oka, sorry. I'm huh. That's it. You're on my shit list. Effective immediately. You're fooling around on those damn phones. Checking your life journals and your my places. My only fan? <laughs> Attention all teachers. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. What for? All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Huh? I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. See ya. Thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? Ah! So you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. Yeah, like being a re yeah, like being um, framed for harassment. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird, huh? No, that's how it is. That's just how it is, really. A duchy. How long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? I'm sorry. <clears throat> <sighs> go wash your face. We're going to go around and gather information. That sounds like this fake stereotypical detective. I mean, then again, not that I know what a detective is. I watch Death Was Note. this one? So things like this happen. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. Jesus Christ. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. They found her on the roof? That's scary. <laughs> Oh, it's Juness. At Juness, every day is customer appreciation day. Oh, Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Piss off. Every day's great at your Juness. Every day's great at your Juness. Every day's great at your Juness. Okay, well, goodbye everybody. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll work on recording another one and getting it to you all. I'm going to be consistent with this one, as this one's going to be the one that I'm, I actually finish. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and bye!